My name is Ellarine and welcome back or to my YouTube channel. So today is all about thrifting. <laughs> this topic was mostly decided by my TikTok spam account, but most of my YouTube videos are decided by my Twitter, so make sure to go and follow that. And while you're at it, just follow all my other socials. You link in description. But yes, today is all about thrifting. First off, I'm gonna start talking about why I thrift. I have been thrifting since I was very, very little. Um, maybe started when I was about seven. Um, right about the time when my parents got divorced. This is because my family became relatively poor as I started staying with my single mother um, and we could not afford a lot. So we resorted in thrifting where the clothes were affordable and relatively good. Aside from my financial situation, I continued thrifting because um, I wanted to stray away from fast fashion. A lot of the fast fashion products are made unethically either inside the US, encouraged by the US, or even like outside the US. Um, and I'm just not about that. I'm not about that life. And because I could never afford like higher quality products that were made ethically, I always just stuck with thrifting for the most part. Advice I have for you guys is if you are in the lower income or if you have financial problems, I'd say just go ahead, go thrifting. No, no harm done. That's like, it's what you can afford. It's what you can afford and it's what's available to you. And always go thrifting rather than buying cheap online like Sheen and stuff like that. I know I'm guilty of getting a couple items from there once in a while but try your best to stay away from that because they do do some unethical work behind the scenes which is unfortunate and obviously you don't want to be supporting that if you are financially well off i would say try to lessen your thrifting and here's why <laughs> i totally support you wanting to you know be good for the economy wanting to get cheap clothes but there are people who actually cannot afford to do anything else but thrift so if you can get maybe more expensive items items at ethical shops. A quick research, a quick Google search, you can find lots of different shops that you can go to either in the mall or just online that are ethical, 100% okay. But yeah, just like be aware of like where you're buying from or if you are also financially well off, there are other cheap sites you can get stuff from like Etsy or Depop where people are reselling their clothes and you can help give back to a little small person trying to get rid of their closet or an artist trying to give away their creations and you can benefit because it's relatively cheap and they can benefit as well. Okay, with all of that aside, let's get into my thrifting methods and what stores I go to and all of that fun stuff. So my favorite thrift stores are my local thrift stores and this is because they're small businesses and I love supporting small businesses. Um, and they also tend to have better deals. Goodwill is my second go-to because it is well known, so it's easily recommendable. Like I can tell you guys, oh, I just I just go to Goodwill. But it is relatively expensive for a thrift store. Sometimes shirts can be like $7.99, which is cheap, but for secondhand, sometimes it just isn't worth it. So I would recommend going to your local thrift stores um, as they tend to have better deals. Within the stores, I have a couple of my favorite sections that I like to go to and I'll be pulling examples of clothing that is actually in my closet right now that I got from these little sections. So the first section is the little girls or the little boys section. Now I know this may sound a little like ridiculous, a little like, what? Like, what, Ella? what are you talking about? But hear me out. If you are a lower size, a lot of the times we can fit into kids clothing and it'll look like crop tops or it'll just be cheaper because it is kids clothes, so like less material or whatever. So let me show you some items that I got from the little kid section that were cheaper than what I would have gotten from the women's section. Okay, so the first item that I got from a kid section is this white cardigan. And as you can see, it's from Carter's and it says six times, which is like the weird kid sizing. And it, I love this because it looks cropped on me. It's very like dainty and trendy and you can see stuff like this, like probably in like brandy or somewhere, but obviously way more expensive there. The only problem I have with it is a lot of the times the sleeves can get too tight because they're meant for kids not like you know us um but aside from that i still love this i like the way it looks it's very flattering um i'll probably put a picture of me in it somewhere but yes cute cropped looking cardigan the second item that i want to show off that i got from a kid section i think i got it for like 3.99 pretty darn good deal <laughs> I, I love this top. So this top says growing gardens with a little sprout on it and it's like just a cute little green graphic tee and <laughs> I got this when I was really like obsessed with the color green. I still really like it. I don't know why like sometimes I have these like 
phases where I really like one color. But this is another smaller shirt that looks cropped on me. And I like this one because the sleeves are wider. So it looks like a women's cropped shirt. Yeah, I'll put a little picture of me in this as well up in the corner. That's it from the kids section. The next section is gonna be open to everyone. So anyone can look in this section and be like, yes, find something cool. The next section I am going to talk about is the lingerie section. I love this section with my entire heart and soul. It is my favorite section to go to. I'm always like straight zip line to it. I love it so much. <laughs> the reason why I like lingerie so much is because they tend to be very lacy and dainty and silky and look like they're high quality. And you know, like corsets and everything are really in. And I just, I love the look of them. It goes so well with my aesthetic. So yeah, lingerie section. I'll show you a couple of pieces that I found in there that are in my wardrobe right now and how I tend to style them. Okay, the first item from my lingerie section that I got is this silky leopard top. It's from Morgan Taylor and it's a small and it's just a very nice silky fabric. It does have a collar. It's perfect for layering stuff so I have layered like sweaters over it or jumpers or however you like to describe them. I also just like unbuttoning it a little bit and just like wearing it like loose and like nice or like tying the little bow from like the buttons. It was probably originally a pajama top but I transformed it into something of my own. And the next shirt I got from the lingerie section is this beautiful white lace, again with like the silk. I don't know actually if it's real silk or if it's like that fake silk, you know, but it still gives off the same vibes. And I like this because it has also adjustable straps. So if there's like a little risque action going on here, I can adjust it higher or I can always overlay it over like a black tee, a little dress, whatever I am feeling. I. <sighs> I just, I just, there's no, there's no words to describe how much I love the laundry section at thrift stores. Mwah, beautiful pieces. And then obviously aside from all this, you can just go to the normal skirts and pants and shirts. The only problem that I have personally while thrifting is I cannot find good pants that fit me for the life of me and that still look good on me. So a lot of my pants are from like American Eagle, um, or just other places that aren't thrift stores. I have been lucky enough to find some, but it is very rare for me to find a good pair of pants, especially now with COVID that we can't really try on stuff, at least at a lot of thrift stores that I am still going to, obviously with the mask and following all the precautions. I just, I can't try stuff on. So pants I have been lacking on. The next section I'm going to go into is talking about oversized clothing. Now don't get me wrong, I am a sucker for oversized clothing. I love wearing it. I like the way it looks on me because I don't know I don't like really like tight-fitting clothing. I like like bigger stuff But I just want to say that if you are petite like me, please try and refrain from getting oversized clothing And you may be like what like Ellie you can't tell me what to do. Hear me out Oversized people or plus-sized people already have trouble finding clothing for themselves They have to go to specific plus-size stores They have to go to only their section because they can't fit into smaller clothes. Us smaller people can just go into a freaking we can just go into a like plus size store or a plus size section and wear something on and be like oh i like the oversized look i'm gonna get this but it just it limits the amount of clothes that plus size people can get and they want trendy and cute clothes too it's not exclusive to us so we need to stop getting plus size clothing especially from just like the plus size section or in larges or in mediums just just refrain from doing it so there's a larger section for the people who actually need it Aside from this, however, I think it's more okay for us to look in the guy section because guy sizes tend to range higher. So I could get a small in a guy's like jacket and it'll look pretty like oversized on me. Along with the idea that guys don't tend to thrift as much as girls and there always tends to be a larger section for guys. I'm not exactly sure why that's the case. So take a look in the guy section rather in the women's larger section and I feel like it can still satisfy you if you really want to get oversized stuff. Next I'm going to talk about the Goodwill bin. So up until this point I have been mostly referring to Goodwills that you just go into and there's already clothing racks and everything like that but Goodwill bins are amazing if you go into them with the right mindset. A lot of the times Goodwill bins can seem very overwhelming, very crowded, very messy, very hectic um, and they are. That is why you have to prepare for them. I would say obviously grab gloves, 
gloves, grab a mask, hand sanitizer in your pocket if you need to. I never go to them without gloves. And go normally with a buddy so you can look through together. Um, normally there's two people per bin allowed. So if it's someone you're with, you'll get it done twice as fast. And I like this because they charge you by weight. So it is far less expensive than if you go to an actual Goodwill outlet store. I have gotten so many things from Goodwill bins since I started going with my best friend. Um, and I'll share a couple items with you in a second. But I also would like to address that Goodwill bins are the perfect place for finding accessories. A lot of times there are just loose pieces of fabric and bandanas, ribbon, um, and I love picking those up because it is so cheap. It will be like 25 cents most for like one bandana. And it's just, it's just a good little spot to find fun original things. So yeah, let me show you some stuff that I got from Goodwill Bing. All right, the first item that I got is this cute little flower design shirt that I cropped. Um, and I just, I love the look of this. It looked very high-end, like brandy type style. One of my favorite finds. Similarly, not at the same store, at a different bin store on the same day though, <laughs> I found this top, which is a cute little same design, like almost the same pattern as well of like ribbing and stuff like that on the shirt. Um, with roses on it and I cropped that one as well and then like I was talking about before I found this bandana which I love wearing very cute I've gotten lots of compliments on it and lots of questions of where I got it in addition to that I got this silk ribbon that was probably meant for some sort of dress but it has got separated from and the original dress was nowhere to be found so I picked it up and eventually I am probably gonna cut it in half so I can use it for my hair. I also just really love this like gold color and again with this silk, I just love silk. So yeah, that was a really fun find for me. And lastly, one of my favorite all-time finds was this Carhartt hoodie. I found it and I brought it back to like the payment area with like four other items and the total ended up being around $5 including this, which just blew my mind. But it is oversized and no one else was wanting it so I got it and I'm super excited about it and I wear this all the time too. So that is pretty much it with the bins. Lastly, I am going to be talking about jewelry. Now I get complimented the most probably on my jewelry and my jewelry selection. Oh, that's a tongue twister. I get most of my jewelry from thrifting or from going to estate sale. Mm, state sales are the sweet spot for jewelry. Not to be oddly cruel, <laughs> but um, estate sales are when someone tends to be elderly, passes away, and they have a lot of very nice, high quality jewelry that um, their family is giving away that they don't want. And they're just like a nice sweet spot because they're just trying to get rid of everything, so they are very cheap. So I'll show a couple items that I got from estate sale, but the same thing goes for Goodwill. So I find a lot of fun earrings, especially from the Goodwill showcase. You just gotta like look around, find stuff you think is cute. So yeah, I'll show you a couple of my favorite pairs that I have gotten from estate sales and then I'll go into some Goodwill finds. All right, so first I would like to start off my very famous Aphrodite pearl earrings. I got these actually at an estate sale and I actually debated on getting them because I didn't know if they fit me, if they were gonna look too good, but I figured they're relatively cheap. Let's get it a spin and these are one of my most complimented earrings that I've worn ever which is totally crazy. Another estate sale find are these cute little angel dangly earrings with a little star in the middle. I am a sucker for anything like angels related so these were a really fun find and once again very cheap. Lastly from an estate sale I got these precious little roses. I also just <laughs> love flowers. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I love them. I got them from a state sale. They were cheap. We stand. Next, I'm going to go into some of my earrings that I got thrifting. Once again, most of my earrings have been thrifted or found at estate sales, so this isn't my entire thrifting earring population. It's just a handful of them. I plan on probably doing a jewelry tour sometime in the near future, um, just not in this video. First earrings I want to show you from thrift stores I got from Buffalo Exchange for $5, which I was very impressed with because Buffalo tends to be a little pricey, so they are these little cupid pearl dangly earrings that I love wearing. Um, they are in a lot of my TikTok videos and in a lot of my Instagram pictures. Once again, I'll probably just be showing picture examples of all of these as I go. I also got these, oh, I 
love these. I got these dangly rose earrings from a Goodwill at the beach. Uh, when I went to the beach and I visited Goodwill and I just I think these are so precious once again a sucker for flowers So I really loved finding those and then I also found these very pretty dangly earrings in a Circle shape and they have almost I don't know what kind of flower that is It almost looks like a little lotus type beach. I could be wrong about that. Um <laughs> I just, I love finding jewelry. Obviously I found necklaces before, I could dive into that a little bit, but I feel like you guys pretty much get the idea. Lastly, I just want to wrap the video up by saying that you should always go into thrift stores and thrifting um, with an open mind. You cannot be searching for a certain thing, otherwise you can ignore all the other possible amazing items that you could find. It's just always good to have an open mind and just be open to what might look cute. A lot of the time, items that I have bought and ended up loving, I was questioning about at first, like, I don't know if I'm gonna look good in this, I don't know if it's gonna fit me. It, just go for it. It's relatively cheap. If you're questioning it, just go for it. If you don't like it, worst comes to worst, you just donate it again. It's also quite a bit about mindset. If you think you're gonna look good and you have it in your head that you're gonna look good, you can rock anything, believe me. But that's for one of my confidence videos later on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this thrifting video, a little thrifting how-to and all about it, all about how I thrift. Make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, follow all of my other socials, um, link in description as well. I'm also gonna add my Venmo and my PayPal down below. Um, just because uh, I don't get money from YouTube so it helps out a little bit everything donated will either go to school for college or it will go to improving my channel for you guys so getting like a microphone getting <laughs> a proper filming camera getting um, a ring light stuff like that so yeah I love you I hope you have a good day night evening whatever make sure to drink some water wash your face take a shower um, take your pills if you need to I love you so much and I will see you in the next video bye